Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Friday, January 8th. You can see temperatures in the low 30s across the area. We could see some rain move in here this morning and with dew points in the mid-20s, would not be impossible to see some of it fall in the form of freezing rain as we get some evaporative cooling, but it would quickly turn over the rain this afternoon. Again, any amounts of icing would be quite light, but uh, certainly bridges, overpasses, and secondary dirt roads certainly could become slippery here this morning. But again, as we said, we expect temperatures to rise up in the upper 30s to around 40 for today and tomorrow with rain. And then I think a strong cold front is going to come through, and that could bring some significant weather here. If we look at the uh, next shot, you can see the webcam down in Blissfield, Michigan. No snow on the ground, but over the next 10 days, it should become quite wintry across much of the Great Lakes. And if we look at the satellite pictures, you can see the low-pressure system spinning away across the uh, northwest portion of Missouri, it's going to be heading well off to our west, bringing that precipitation into the area this morning. But here's our winter storm coming out of the southwest. It's going to drop down towards Texas into uh, Oklahoma. And then as it comes into Arkansas, it's going to begin to cut towards Lake Erie. And as that does, we expect a band of uh, snow to begin once the cold front comes through later Saturday afternoon or evening now. It looks, the cold air looks to arrive a little quicker. And with uh, snow falling possibly very heavy at times across the central and western portions of the MAC area, I think when all is said and done that there could be some areas that could see six or more inches of snow with a large area of uh, three to six inches around Lansing over towards the Thumb area and to the northwest. Would not be surprised to see winter storm watches issued if the models continue to show this this afternoon. And that would be for the time period, I think, probably Saturday afternoon or evening in through the day on Sunday when we expect the worst of the weather to begin uh, again Saturday evening or Saturday night, lasting right into Sunday and with strong winds. Whether or not we get six or more inches of snow enough to be in the winter storm criteria, I think the uh, other factor that will uh, perhaps prompt winter storm watches would be winds that could gust between 30 to as much as 40 miles per hour on Sunday, causing considerable blowing and drifting of snow in areas that do get that snow. If we look on radar, you can see some of the light precipitation out there this morning. And again, it will be on the light side. If we uh, look at the forecast map this morning, you see low pressure system across uh, northwest Missouri. Again, it'll be heading to the north. And as it does, it's going to swing a cold front here through later on Saturday. And you can see by Saturday morning, we're going to have a low pressure near Sault Ste. Marie, and that cold front will be stretching to the south. Much cold air comes in pretty quick behind this system. And here's our developing winter storm now moving into Arkansas. And again, it'll move up this front as this front continues to push to the east. We expect right now the best track, as it looks right now, would be from Arkansas right into western Lake Erie. And that would put much of the MAC area, especially the western two-thirds, in a prime spot to pick up moderate to heavy snow with a lot of wind. If we look at the forecast map again now as we get into Sunday morning, that low pressure across Lake Erie, we've got stiff north to northeast winds, could even have additional accumulations from Lake Huron, which we don't normally get a lot of lake effect here, but when we have these big storms cutting off to our south, quite often we can pick up an extra inch or two across the Saginaw Valley, including the Brockenage and even possibly Middleton area, but especially for Brockenage area off towards the east towards Saginaw. If we look at the uh, forecast and precipitation from the GFS as far as snowfall, you can see the heaviest snowfall they depict from around the Thumb area down to across uh, just north of Lansing and back towards southwest lower Michigan with the heaviest snow falling across Montcalm County up towards Osco and Alpena in that northeast or southwest and northeast line. If we look at wind gusts off the GFS, you can see in the green here this would be 34 to 36 knot winds, which you uh, convert that over to miles per hour. That would be up around 38 to 40 miles per hour. This would be for uh, 1 p.m. on Sunday. So you can see any snow that falls is going to blow around with winds across the area between 30 and to as much as 40 miles per hour. If we look at the, uh, this would be from the uh, WPC, the INSEP, what they think is going to happen with the snow. You can see plenty of snow. This would be the 90%. This would be kind of the high end range of the, the storm, the potential. And you can see there is a potential for quite a bit of heavy snow all the way from around Lansing to Saginaw Bay back towards Kalamazoo and uh, even a half a foot of snow possible down around the Jackson area. Again, we got to watch this very closely. And if we look at the next model, if you don't get any snow uh, from this system across southeast lower Michigan, you can see the Canadian over the next 10 days does give much of the area quite a bit of snow. We've got at least three systems we're watching. we got uh, this system here coming up for the weekend. And then we have a clipper system that could be pretty strong as we get into Monday night and Tuesday. So we can certainly have some school issues early next week. And then as we get into late next weekend, 
into the early the following week, we may have another setup with a strong storm coming out of the southwest towards Gray Lakes. So winter is here, plenty of cold air coming in about uh, two days. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day, a great weekend, and 73s to all.